There is now a sandbagging station set up here at Wilmington City Hall. Residents worried about flooding as this ice jam continues to grow. It doesn't look real. It's, I mean, it honestly looks something you see out of the book, so we'll see what happens. Mike Busher's son lives on the Kankakee River in Wilmington. The ice jam creeping closer over the banks. This is probably the worst we've ever seen out here with uh, how high the river's been and iced up, so it's pretty bad right now. Will County Emergency Management estimates the ice jam has increased to 10 miles in length. This morning around 1030 AM, pumping from warm water siphons off the Dresden Cooling Lake began. The water is actually pumped up over a berm and yeah, underwater and under into the river. So we're hoping that once the water starts to warm up on the river, it's going to melt the ice, creating a little channel so it can funnel all that ice downstream um, and help push everything simultaneously. That's the hope to prevent flooding, but it's not a guarantee. It's really a fine balance. Um, we're starting to see that pooling of water behind. So as we open it up, the water is going to want to go somewhere and it's going to want to continue to go downstream. So we do still run the risk of flash flooding. Residents on alert to evacuate at a moment's notice. Some roads are closed in the area, including Blodgett between North River and Kelly Road, New River Road west of I-55, Phelan Acres south of Catfish, Kelly Road south of the motocross track, and all of North Redmond Lane. I think they're more standby right now. It's not nothing that these worry worried about by evacuating, but you always got to be prepared. It has been too cold for local agencies to put their own drones up over the river, but tomorrow the Civil Air Patrol will fly the entire span of the river starting at the Indiana state line to get a bird's eye view and a better idea if this water siphoning is working. In Wilmington, Dana Rebic, WGN News.